I think our policymakers are very clear that we have a problem with inequity in our society. I don't think that's news to anyone. Um, where I think the understanding really kind of diverges is on the question of the solutions, which is, you know, what do you prioritize and how you're attempting to solve for that inequality? And then do you perceive our business community as an ally or an obstacle in those solutions? And I think that's really where the, the differences lie, is in, is in the perception of the role the business community has in solving for the inequity. I think there is a perception that California's economy is strong and vibrant and, and that state policymakers don't necessarily need to play much of a role in it. I don't, I don't know that I agree with that position, but I think there are some people who have that perception. Um, uh, there's also the question of our state budget. I mean, a lot of what happens in Sacramento focuses on the things that we spend money on, and we mostly spend money on health care and education, and there's not a lot of budget room for economic development. And I think that that, ha that is part of the hurdle. And then I think institutionally, and if you look at our institutional history, um, if you go back in time, California once had a trade and commerce agency. We had more institutions than we currently have. That agency was um, uh, uh, disbanded for good reasons, and also maybe not so good reasons, some of them stronger than others. Um, but in the wake of that uh, agency's demolition, I think we have not really ever figured out what's the right institutional structure and uh, how do we have, you know, where, where do we put the programs, what programs should we have, uh, what's the evidence base for economic development policy at a statewide level. Those are, those are things that I don't think we've really fully answered as a state. I think there's plenty of interest and opportunity for conversation. In our polarized political environment, I think we have the challenge of us all um, finding ways to reach each other again across partisan lines, across identity groups, um, across all of the various um, gulfs that separate us as people and uh, but I I may be naive I may be you know 1960s old school but I really do believe that there's a tremendous amount of goodwill in California and that it just needs to be tapped and um, and uh, directed towards solutions that we can all get behind together. And I, I think that is possible. I think it's there. Um, I think we need leadership that really focuses on driving us, uh, pulling us together and driving us towards those solutions together.